Ralph Irvin on Spalding Field. The UCLA open up their spring football practices here on Tuesday, and I'm joined by soon to be sophomore linebacker Miles Jack. Miles, thanks for joining me. How was uh, day one out here? Day one was great. I mean, it was just great to be back on the field and everything, and just just get back to playing football. That's that's really what we've been waiting for, and today is that day. Now let's jump back a little bit, go to the winter quarter. How was uh, the winter quarter training sessions with Coach Alosi? Coach Alosi, he definitely, he's definitely extreme, you know, just with his workouts and everything. He, he pushed us to our limits, and, I mean, it's definitely it's going to show out here on the field and just this upcoming season. I mean, me personally, I've gotten bigger and stronger, and I, I just feel like it's going to transpire onto the field. The other thing that goes on, though, during the winter is you start doing work on your own on the side, and I know that uh, you had a couple guys that you were spending a lot of time with out here on the field making yourself better. Definitely. Me and uh, Caleb Benenock, me and Kenny Lacey, uh, all three of us, we really just really made a pact this offseason and just kind of decided to perfect our craft. Me personally, my pastorish, them, just their sets and everything, just, just as offensive linemen and and, and I mean, it just really got all three of us better, you know, just just going back and forth. We would just come out here on, on off days and just kind of go at it, just go straight up and just just give each other feedback. And I mean, it really made it made all three of us better. Now you get into that winter quarter and you want to just be a student. You're not worried about football, mm -hmm. but at the same time, suddenly now, well, no, you're Miles Jack and, and you walk around. What was it like? Uh, going around campus now with people kind of knowing who you were and it wasn't like you were just in school you know going to class All right it was definitely cool you know just 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 seeing your peers you know that they they see you play football and everything and just them just giving you love i mean it's great to be on a ucla campus with their sons out and people are just congratulating you on your success so i mean it was a good experience just having random people just come up to me and just just take time out of their day to just say congratulations on what you did this past season now, one thing that you did just this past weekend, and I saw you out at uh, softball throwing out that first pitch. First, I want to talk about warming up for that because you're seeing our, our UCLA pitchers just winging the ball, right. and, and that's got to be kind of an intimidating thing that they want you to come out and do the same. Right. It was definitely intimidating watching uh, Allie Carter. She was uh, she was throwing underhand, and she was uh, she was zipping it. I only had about five minutes to prepare and everything, so I was I was standing next to her, warming up, just right next to her, and just watching her and trying to. You know, mimic mimic the best I could, but yeah, just going out there and just throwing that opening pitch, it was it was exciting. Just just have the fans and everything, and just an honor. I mean, UCLA softball. I mean, they're they're historic, prestigious uh, program and everything, and just with the Olympians and their history and everything, and for them to ask me to do that, I mean, it was an honor. So I tried to. I hope it was a strike. I, it was a strike. I'm gonna say it was a strike, and uh, yeah, it was just great to throw the opening pitch. The other thing, though, that you got to do during the winter quarter is, as being a regular student athlete, you got to go to other sports. You got to just sit and be a fan. Right. And this one thing here at UCLA, there's so many different sports, so many good teams mm -hmm. that you got to see a lot of different forms of athletic uh, greatness. Right. Uh, the basketball team, I mean, the men's team, they made it to the Sweet 16. That was definitely cool. The men's volleyball team, I mean, they're they're solid. I mean, they were beating teams left and right. I was sneaking into those games and just, just kind of watch them play. And I mean, I, I watched a bunch of different teams. I snuck to some baseball games and just kind of checked them out. I mean, it's, it's definitely a cool experience just seeing how, how athletic this university is along with the academics. So, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan of all UCLA sports and I mean, go Bruins. <laughs> and now that we're here in spring camp, is there anything in particular you're looking to work on uh, for, for, for these next few weeks uh, before the uh, showcase? Again, I mean, definitely. I mean, me, me and EK are the only remaining starters from last season. So I really just want to develop my voice and just kind of be that person that, that they trust. I mean, last year I was really only told to just know know what I'm doing and just kind of stick to that. So I want to expand my role a little bit and be able to be able to help guys out if they don't know what's going on, be vocal and just, just kind of help EK out. I mean, EK is a, a red shirt senior and everything. So, I mean, he knows the ropes. So I'm just going to learn from him and just trying to try to pick up his, his, his leadership qualities and just apply them to my game. All right, well, Miles, it's always fun to talk with you. I know it's fun for you to be back out on your, back here on the field. Thanks for taking the time. Thank you. All right, that's UCLA linebacker Miles Jack. Once again, the Bruins continue their spring practices here on Spalding Field. Be back at it Thursday afternoon at 4.30. And, of course, for the best news and notes on UCLA football, get it all right here at uclabruins.com.